Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here from Like Designs and uh, this is the my first episode to the um, solar system video which I'll be creating the entire solar system from just inside of uh, Cinema 4D and here we go first things first uh, I need to set up my renders my render settings sorry I have a preset made already so yeah all right first thing you want to do is obviously um, create a sphere once you create that there's a few things you can do right away the sphere first of all the sphere is already um, at perfect shape whenever um, there's really no point in making a lot of segments and uh, making it lag a little bit more uh, unless you obviously do something like this let's try that out real quick it'll still be a perfect circle okay um, yeah so just it really doesn't matter at that point um, next thing you want to do is download the files I have on the bottom um, we'll be creating Mars on this video which is the um, the most outer terrestrial planet and it's the planet that's closest to the um, the asteroid belt in case anyone's wondering okay so download these um these images I'll have a link in the description so go check it out um, whenever you're creating the whole solar system you, you wanna label your materials just to know what they are crap uh, my caps lock enabled um, next thing you do is you open up your material editor and uh, disable specular that way a little shining light won't be on your globe and this is Mars but it's not quite yet complete even though it does look complete it's not complete yet um, next thing you want to do is download the other file I have in the description which is basically the bump map and what you do to get the bump map on the on the um, planet is you go into your material editor in case you're wondering how to get into a material editor all you have to do is double click on the material and next thing you want to do is go down to bump enable it go to texture load image and load the image wherever you save it which is called Mars elevation wherever you save it just go into it and load it which will be this image right here yes now the thing I do is go to sampling MIP changing to alias 3 and change the strength all the way up to a hundred and now you'll have bump map on Mars as you can see there's like a little shadowing right here but this is just the um, unrendered version the rendered version will look like this there you go see like there's a bit bump a bump to it in case you're wondering this right here this isn't no astronomy lesson or whatever but this right here is called Olympus Mons which is the tallest volcano in the solar system in our solar system and it's about 30 percent no sorry okay it's about 60,000 feet which is quite bigger than Mount Everest here on earth Mount Everest is 29,000 feet Olympus Mons is about 60,000 feet so yeah you can see the difference right there um, next thing you want to do is create the atmosphere that Mars has um, Mars doesn't have a thick atmosphere doesn't you won't see a lot of clouds on Mars you'll see a little tiny bit of uh, clouds really uh, fall, small formings of clouds okay I got it I don't know why but anything that's not fraps for some reason slows down my computer like really bad I don't know why okay um, next thing you want to do is create the atmosphere which will be very it, it'll just be a glow effect basically so just go into glow and right now it'll be like this but you don't want to leave it like that because it looks doesn't look good as you can see it just looks stupid um, first thing you want to do is lower the inner strength to around 40 43 would be just fine and the outer strength drastically all the way down to around 80 I'd say now if you render this it'll look like that Mars will be glowing a little bit um, this is how it would actually look in real life basically um, it'll be a less glowy but um, Mars has an atmosphere it's just not as thick you won't see rain or whatever on uh, well actually you would but it's kinda different on uh, Mars because it's really cold and it's I don't know how to explain it just 
Mars is a lot different from Earth. Uh, its atmosphere is very thin, and um, yeah, it's very cold, very cold. So that was it. This is the first tutorial on how to create the inner terrestrial planets of the solar system. And the first planet is Mars. I'll keep on moving in. Next video will be Earth and its moon. And um, after that, Venus. Venus is very simple, extremely simple. And Mercury, which is the most simple of all. And then after that, obviously, I'll be creating the sun. And that's perfect right there. Okay. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, please rate and subscribe.